Oh. Hi. Uh, I didn't see you there. I am Hikaru Star, your friendly neighborhood alien stranded here on the third rock from the Sun. And we've got the second chapter of Mascot Pictures, The Whispering Shadow from 1933, starring Bella Lugosi. So, I really hope you enjoy it. Ray Schneider was in this? I didn't think he was that old. Mr. Darcy! Oh, Mr. Darcy! Oh no! Oh no, I do not want this room to collapse. Robert Raymond, a famous detective, has been engaged. Oh my, they're going to get married? To guard against the expected attack of the Whispering Shadow and any unionizing efforts. Here you are. Why, Mr. Bradley, what are you doing here? I told you the Whispering Shadow was going to attack the warehouse tonight. You evidently expected him to come in the front door. No, but I have guards posted all around the building. There's no telling where he may strike. Have you any clue as to who the Whispering Shadow is? No, Not me. An electrical totally not me. Mass of radio and perhaps television. What on earth could he want in this warehouse? I can only guess. Something of tremendous value. Hidden somewhere in this building. And I certainly hope you catch it. I'll be in my office if you want to. Oh, Mr. Raymond! Mr. Raymond! We just found a mark who tied up in the basement. Whispering shadows, sound the alarm!
the roof fell in. I've got the shadow. Help! Quick! Don't let him get away! Why, it's Mr. Jerome. So it is. You didn't let him loose. Mr. Jerome is above suspicion. In a mystery of this sort, Mr. Bradley, no man is above suspicion. I know he isn't. He killed the radio operator. I saw him. That's a lie. Now, just a minute. When did this happen? Just before the Shadow's men attacked. Bach saw them and started to give the alarm. But Jerome struck him down. I didn't know it was Sparks. I thought it was one of the Shadow's men. Well, let's go upstairs and look into this. I nearly had it. So, this is the man I killed, is it? A pretty live-looking corpse. Is he the man who knocked you down? I don't know. What? Didn't you see him? No. If he had been where I could see him when he hit me, I wouldn't have got hit. This man Steinbeck has been accusing me to cover his own guilt. Jerome, think what you're saying. I know what I'm saying. The Whispering Shadow is a radio genius, isn't he? Well, Steinbeck answers that description. And he's got a private broadcasting radio behind that door. It isn't a private radio. It belongs to the company and is used for experimental work only. Mr. Bradley knows that. That is true. Any objection to our having a look? Not at all. There you are, Mr. Raymond. No, you don't. What did I tell you, Raymond? He's trying to conceal this paper. Foreign language. Can you translate this? some kind of an engineering formula. Then why did he try to hide it? Because it is my secret invention. I don't believe it. And I'm surprised, Raymond, that a detective of your standing would swallow such a story. Are you the famous detective, Mr. Robert Raymond? <laughs> That's my name. Oh, then you are the man I'm looking for. Maybe you can solve this puzzle for me. Everybody's a suspect. I'm a suspect, I guess. I must be the Whispering Shadow, and I don't realize it. I wonder what my evil plan is. Maybe we'll find out. Did you find it? 
No, it isn't up here. It isn't down below either. I'd rather be shot than go back and tell a shadow we lost it. We may be shot when we do tell him. If the police don't capture us first, we certainly are in a tough spot. Whispering Shadow, you know. Oh, Walter, he can't be the Whispering Shadow. This is Slade, the jewel thief. He just escaped from the penitentiary. But he has the package the Shadow Men were after. <coughs> the same package, all right. Why, it's empty. Empty? And the girl uh, who? What girl? None of your business. He means Strang's daughter. She must have emptied the package before Slade grabbed it from her. Mr. Jerome? You'll have to take Slade back to town alone and turn him over to the police. I'm going to beat the girl in her father's house and nail the shadow with the goods. Or... You're not, because we still got ten chapters after this? So, you'll let the girl trick you, you fool. Get into that car. We've got to act quickly. Hello? Let me have the intelligence department. Hello, is that you, Mac? This is Raymond speaking. I want you to look up Alexis Steinbeck. Find out what his foreign connections are. See if he has a criminal record. Okay, Mac. I'll keep in touch with you. So everybody's after these jewels, even me, because I am the Whispering Shadow. Found this girl hiding downstairs, and she refused to give us count of herself. I'll take care of this, John. Okay, Mr. Raymond. Well, Miss Chang, I suppose you realize that a serious charge can be brought against you. What? Trespassing? Oh, no. Nothing quite so simple as that. I know that you came here to help your father steal the jewels of the Tsar. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, yes, you do. And you're going to make a complete confession before you leave this room. We have very conclusive proof that your father is the Whispering Shadow. You suppose the Whispering Shadow is really Professor Strang? Who knows? No one has ever seen the Shadow. You haven't any proof. You're just bluffing. You'll change your mind about that when the jail doors close behind you. Oh, no, she won't. Keep your hand away from that gun. This way, miss. Quick. Get into that closet. I still think, um, the radio guy is, is, is the Whispering Shadow. Or it's me, and I don't know it. But I'm not really into jewelry. I mean, a nice choker's nice. Kind of like the occasional, you know, simple ring, but... I'm not really a big jewelry person. You know, it would be nice to get something, you know, nice and shiny for my antenna. Any message from the shadow yet? No. Never mind taking your places. We must act quickly. Foster is at the house of mystery, interfering with my plan. I mean, it could be the vice president, dude. I mean, he could be it. But I think it's me. I think I am the Whispering Shadow. Ah, Mr. Foster. Come in. Sorry to have kept you so long. I was just ready to retire. Don't try to bluff, Strang. I'm here for a showdown, and you know it. Showdown? My dear Mr. Foster, I don't understand. Then see if you can understand this. I have reason to believe you're the Whispering Shadow. You tried to rob the warehouse tonight. Tonight? How do you dare to make such... And your daughter got away with the loot. Get away? Young man, you're not only insulting, but ridiculous. My daughter has been home all evening. I suppose you can prove that. Why, certainly. She retired an hour ago. Mm. 
Vera. Vera. There you are. Sound asleep. And now, Mr. Foster, I bid you good night. Just a minute. I don't know how your daughter managed to get here ahead of me, but I do know she was in the warehouse tonight. Take off that dressing gown. You're coming with me. Oh my, this is getting very X-rated. Mr. Foster, you're making the greatest mistake of your life. I didn't do it. I did not do it. You can't, you can't, you can't. I, I, I did not do this. I did not do this. Don't, don't blame me. Don't blame me. It was the guy with the gun. It was the one armed man. I swear. That is it for this chapter of the Whispering Shadow. Next time, chapter three, we'll see how they get out of this one. Until then, see you on the flip side.